Mr. Pinnaston, the building. So, jumping right into it. These are all the codes that I got from the transmission guy. I went to Amco, and this is what he found out when he looked at all the electrical issues I was having. So, he knows for sure it's electrical issues, and he's not 100% sure that it's mechanical, but he didn't look and diagnose that. This, this was just a free diagnostic to see what he can find from the outside. He's going to charge me close to anywhere from 100 to $200, depending on how long it takes to find out what the issue is for each one of these code errors you guys can see. And it could be something minor. Like I said before, it could be $200 to, you know, check some wirings and plugs and make sure those are okay. Or it could be $1,800, meaning that, you know, the transmission is slipping, it's busted, a lot of things. And so I told him, give me some time. I can come back when I have more time. But I needed my vehicle at the moment. So he advised me, you know, don't drive on it a lot. That can cause more issues on the car. So I told him I'll drive more sparingly. And that's where we're at right now. So wifey doesn't want to look at this because I think she thinks that I am correct. But we don't know yet. I'm still trying to decide if I can convince her to let me trade this thing in. Or we should just go ahead and, and pay the 200 plus dollars to go ahead and get this diagnosed. My fear is once they start digging in here and looking, there's going to be something worse. And I'm going to be paying close to thousands of dollars, in which I don't want to do. So that's the update from Mr. Penistar. Any questions, let me know. But yeah, check out all this text information that we have here. Um, yeah, hot mess with the Batmobile. I'm out, yo. Peace.